done it. No, no. please, Laura. Not yet. It's okay. It's gonna be fine. Just relax. No, fine. Frisco! Paramedics are on the way. Will they make it before the baby? I don't worry about it. Just get us some pillows. Prop her up. She needs to be able to push. I, I think she might need more ice chips. Yeah, a cleansing breath, Felicia, after each contraction. Tony, Tony, remember? let me take over your family. I believe I've delivered more babies under preventive conditions. We're, we're going to need something to tie off the cord. Oh, pipe down, everyone. Felicia, try not to panic. Oh, Just no, relax. Wait, stop it. Now, this is not a medical convention, all right? This is going to be my niece or my nephew, and Simone specializes in babies, so we're going to deliver it. Is that all right? Okay, good. Fine. Fine. All right, everybody back to your seats. Uh, drinks on the house. Yeah. Drinks on the house. I'm sure they'll let you know if they need you. Push. All back to your seats. Okay? Oh. Come on, come on. Oh. Alicia? Oh. Alicia, it's all right. Everything's under control. Oh, maybe to you. You have a lot of help here. I don't believe this. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, 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 you know how to breathe, and you know how to go with it. Remember, two shorts in, two shorts out. I have had a lot of interrupted gigs in my life, but this is one for the books. You hear me? Keep those pipes warmed up. Yeah, this is going to be a hard act to follow. Yes, indeed. Keep breathing, calm down. Yeah. All right, you're going to feel the contraction. Come back off the grip, and then it's going to start calming down. Here it goes. I think so. Okay, it's something for me Oh. Oh. Oh, I told this baby you can't come now. <laughs> well, looks like you're going to have a willful child on your hands. I finally got tired of waiting for Frisco. But here, in front of half of poor Charles. Well, why don't you think of yourself as royalty? All right, old Paige. <laughs> Hardly. You know, years back, you required a kushma for the queens of Europe to give birth in the presence of the entire court. It must have been before TV. <laughs> there is the not uncommon practice of births in taxi cabs. And how about that one just recently on an airplane between New York and Washington? Were, were they tied off the cord with a shoelace? No, thanks. I would rather be in a bright, bright hospital room where there's doctors with masks and those horrible stirrups. And no offense, but Frisco. Oh, oh. Wait, hold on, I'm coming on. All right, let's ride. Oh, oh. And I would settle for an ambulance. Oh, Tony, well, oh, where is it? It's not, it doesn't matter. This baby's in a hurry. Oh. Yeah, okay. Okay, now it's okay. Going keep, down. keep it rhythmic. Keep it rhythmic. Oh, oh, oh. 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 Good, good. Luke, we're gonna need a, a sharp knife no. and lots of towels. No, just forget oh. about the knife. I've got my scalpels here. What we do need is some towels and some string. Okay, here it comes. Can we really do this here? Definitely. And very, very soon. I want Frisco! Honey, I'm sure Frisco meant to be here. I'm sure of it. You're just gonna have to do with your friends. I happen to love you very much. Okay. Give me your hand. Good. Okay. 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 <laughs> you know something? It's just like Felicia to try and get all the attention for herself. <laughs> you think she'd take lessons from you? It's more uh, meaningful than any conversation we could ever have about, uh, you know, birds and the bees, huh? It's not like it's, it's not, it's not something I didn't already know, Dad. Okay, okay, breathe, breathe. Remember, breathe. Good, good. Uh, although it is pretty awesome. That it is, that it is. Here are your towels. All right, okay. Won't be long now. Good. Yeah, that's right. Hold on. Good. Okay. Here we go. Good. Good. You're doing great. You're doing great. I need to push. Well, if the baby says push, you push. Just don't take it easy. Breathe. Breathe. Okay. Okay. Here we go. All right. Oh, for the love of... Wouldn't you think that a woman in that condition would have the sense to stay home? Edward, you're constituted Victorian about these things. You know, if you had your way, an expectant mother would stay in the house with the shades down for the entire nine months. <laughs> he doesn't even want Annabelle seen in public. <laughs> well, granted, this is an extreme situation. 
I think it's wonderful the way babies are born these days. In my time, they put you to sleep and presented you with a little bundle when you woke up. Well, yes, but there were advantages to that method. I sure hope Felicia wanted natural childbirth. But is this the modern equivalent of dropping it in a field? <laughs> Not with a room full of doctors. <laughs> yeah, but what about the baby? I mean, aren't there things they're supposed to do as soon as it's born? Yeah, well, some theories today say the less we interfere, the better off everybody is. Her body will know what to do, and so will the babies. Some intermission feature. Look at this. <laughs> this club is already turning into a legend and it's barely up in the Oh no, just think. In probably a few minutes there's gonna be a whole new person in here. One more than when we first walked in. Okay, with this one. Oh, oh. You know, Gordon, this really does remind me of the time that I gave birth to Serena. Except it really is different, sort of, isn't it? Because, well, I was absolutely alone, except for Scott. There we were, just all of us, you know, and we suffered. I was suffering most of all. Boy, did I suffer. Oh, I'm sure you did. Oh, the storm was raging. Snow was coming down. We were in this little cabin with no heat or electricity. It was a a amazing. I was really terrified, of course. And Scott was more terrified than I was. I certainly didn't have all these doctors hovering around like Felicia does. No, 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 no. We were distinctly told not to hover. Oh, my goodness. And then all of a sudden, she came out and Scott wrapped her up and put her in my arms. And even though I wasn't really her mother, I was. <laughs> You know, it's funny. I'm around births all the time at the hospital, but this just brings it back so clearly. Delivering BJ at the Brownstone, she came so fast. I remember the story. She really wanted into this world. The, the medics are here. All right, just come and stand by. We'll push. Looking good. Uh -huh. You did it, Felicia. <laughs> Just a second. I got to work yeah. a little bit more stuff here. And there you go. You're on your own, kiddo. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Bravo, Felicia. <laughs> How's the mama doing, Tony? How's the mama doing? Well, come on, Doc, don't leave us in suspense. What do we get, a boy or a girl? Now, Baby and Felicia are fine, but she gets to hear first. Please. Do I have a daughter or a son? Tony, is it a boy or a girl? It's a little girl. Maxie has a sister. Let me hold her. I don't care if she's messy. Okay. okay. Hello, little girl. I'm your mommy. I hope you like it here. Congratulations, Mama. I got a whole full house here, you know, who'd like to know. She's a girl. Sorry for causing such a fuss in your club. It was great. You kidding? It was a. It was great. Don't worry about Mary May. She's a very generous soul. Oh, it was supposed to be her night. Mm mm. I think it was your night. Yours and now. Uh, both of yours. <laughs> Hospital time. What is it? Look, when are they going to tell us what she had? What's the word? Come on, Luke, and quiet minds want to know. Yeah. <laughs> Luke's here and uh, Felicia, of course, are very happy to announce the successful birth of baby girl, Joe! Yeah! Yeah! So I suppose this means you're going to be Uncle Kevin? Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh. 